I need to tell you guys what my brain saw because this comes with a caveat. Let me look up yesterday's tweet from SNK regarding the silhouette of this character. This is what appeared yesterday on SNK's Twitter. And I was like, yo, this like 1000% is Vanessa. But I'm like, but give me a second. In my stupid brain, here's what I saw. This is like a, a, a face right here, right? And here's a face and then there's some hair right here. And there's some angry eyes and there, there, there's like a smile. And then this is like the hand right here, right? This is like the hand that goes up and this is the arm. And here's like the collar, right? Here's the collar right there, this rocks collar. And this was the shoulder going up and he was like leaning into it and his arm was down here. And this was like going this way. And then I was like, God damn, Rock How it's his birthday. Rock Howard is gonna be in King of Fighters. It's happening! It's happening! But, I mean, here's the thing is that I, I really didn't- I didn't actually believe that. What I actually believed is like, chance of Rock Howard, 1%. Chance of Vanessa, 101%, with a 1% margin of error. I mean, of course, um, of course, it is Vanessa, okay? It is Vanessa. You know exactly what's Rock Pose, right? There was a small chance! There was a very, very small chance. So yeah, Vanessa was revealed for uh, KOF 15, and that's great. This is, I think, one of the more popular slash requested characters from KOF 15 because she was a DLC character for the previous game. We checked, we checked her out a little bit. She got a boxing fighting style for anybody that doesn't know Vanessa, and they made her super pretty. They like, they changed her face, and she extra pretty now. So uh, let's watch the trailer, see what she looks like in game, and. Um, Let's take a look. Ooh. I like this European city stage, what the hell? She got big hands, just like the previous game. She got huge Vanessa. hands. She got big arms and big hands. That's the way she goes. She's been redesigned a little bit, I feel. A lot, of, a lot of people describe this character as like SNK Dudley. Somewhat accurate. Not entirely accurate, but like somewhat. Ooh, hit sparks are looking even better. She proportionally looks a little crazy, right? Her arms and hands are hella big. Ooh, Jesus. More little hints at mechanics, right? Oh god, everyone's got the Vegeta pose? Damn. She definitely looks a hell of a lot different in the face, though. Right? She, she definitely, character design-wise... Team Secret Agent! Team and Secret Agent! I think, uh... I think she looks really good. I don't know if I, let me go back and look at her KOF 14 design. You know what? I don't know if even her KOF 14 look is that much worse, right? They definitely went in on her, on her face, but I don't know if this looks specifically weird to me, but they definitely softened her up a bit, right? That's like, that's sort of the, the KOF 15 grandstanding design philosophy is that we're gonna soften the characters up a little bit. Yeah, I think she looked fine in the previous game too. But granted, this isn't that much bigger of a difference between the previous game. This is just a little, a little different. You know what I mean? Just a, a bit of a design improvement on the art side, in my personal opinion. Let me look at this again. I, I'm gonna, I'm going to say it right now. Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! I found the... Okay, so Faust has joined King of Fighters 15. Her hands are coming cro across uh, as a, a bit much at times, and they might need to be like scaled down about 25%. Maybe just scale them down. Just take the hands and just beep, just take them down just a little bit. Because at times, and at certain angles, things start looking a little crazy. In motion, no issues, right? In motion, this has, there's zero issues here. But that kind of is the way she's always like sort of looked, right? Even in her old 2D versions, she's always had kind of like longer arms and stuff, right? I do remember her having this element in KOF 14 where in KOF 14, um, she had 
like longer arms and bigger hands. I think it's just kind of kind of a part of her character design. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually be super fine if they made her more like buff. If they like buffed her up a whole bunch, gave her like a lot of muscle definition and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. Damn, there's some sick ass impact on this shit. She looks hella good. My God, dude. Yeah, like this shot specifically. This is a this is a great this is a fantastic bull shot. Like I feel like in some of the in some of the angles, her hands just come across as being like 25% too big. You know, the game is clearly not out yet and has been delayed since we last spoke till um next year. So that's good. And in fact, I think that's a very good thing considering uh this game was already being touted as having rollback netcode in some way. I think she looks really good, right? They they really are going in on a lot of KOF characters to make them as attractive as possible. Like and distinctly like different and unique looking in some ways from the previous games and then some characters aren't some characters are just straight like hey this is just the way they've always looked and this is the way they're gonna be um and i think her redesign doesn't really come across as super redesigned you know i think she looks good i just personally think and this might just be me her hands come across as a little big <laughs> in in some shots right just a just a, a bit gigantic. I am all for like buff female fighting game characters. One of the things I've always loved about this character is that she's fucking built. Like she's built like she's ready for combat and stuff. Granted, she's not in a fighting game yet. At some point in the future, she will be, okay? At some point in the future, Lin Kurosawa is gonna make it into a fighting game and she's gonna beat ass. But I think she looks good. It's definitely not Rock. We never thought it was gonna be Rock. Definitely never presumed it was gonna be Rock Howard in any way. Definitely not. But the fact that it is Vanessa is great because once once again, what is SNK doing? They are putting in long running fan favorite characters, a part of the core roster this time, which is really smart. Granted, she was DLC in the previous game, making sure that she's part of the main game this time, unlike uh, some other fan favorite female characters from other games like <laughs> some female characters are being relegated to DLC once again. I appreciate you SNK for making some of these fan favorites part of the main roster. <clears throat> it's very nice, right? It's very nice. Let's just hope other characters that were DLC from the previous game might just maybe make it into, you know, the new game. Let's hope just maybe there might, maybe uh, there could be a small chance that maybe some other characters that were DLC could maybe make it into the main roster. Along with, you know, geese and stuff like that. That'd be pretty sick. Maybe that's just me, huh? Talking about her armpit. Jesus. Grand Blue Fantasy versus fans.